Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, the depth camera speed between the Laptor and the Metro X. The maximum depth camera speed for the Laptor is 50 frames per second and for the Metro X it runs almost 60 so it's a bit faster on the display but when I scanned with the Laptor I can move my hand faster and the scanner can keep up with the speed of my movement without losing the track. When I scan with the same movement with the Metro X, it cannot catch up and lost the track. While the scanner with the higher FPS cannot keep up with the scanner which has a lower FPS. So let's find out. I'm going to scan this pad and I'm going to show you how it tracks. So I'm going to move my hand and scan with the seven lines. So I can move this fast and it's still tracking. See here? Uh, this is a real time and this is a 50 frame per second scanner should be able to do. And the Samoon S1 is even faster. It has nothing to do with the precision or accuracy. A uh, laser scanner, uh, you expect uh, the speed so you can finish your work faster with a high precision output. Okay, next I'm going to do the same with the Metro X and you will see that the FPS from the Metro X is higher. So I'm going to show you the, the tracking the performance okay, in the optimum range. Okay, let's start the scan. It shows here 56 frame per second. So I should be able to move at the same speed as I do with the Raptor but it cannot catch up so I I doubt that the, the camera is running at the lower speed so it cannot catch up with the, my hand movement so uh, when I move my hand like this even though I have a uh, plenty of the markers it will not keep up I need to move very slow like this See here, this is the speed that uh, the Metro X can handle. So I doubt that the reward scan software is not reporting the true FPS on the user interface. So I record the parallel line projector with a 240p camera. This footage is one second long and I count the number of strobe that produce uh, from the projector. The projector strobe frequency has to match the camera FPS. I replay this footage with the 50 times slow motion. Until the end of the footage, I can count 56 strobe and it match the FPS that report on the user interface. So I doubt that in the software, the camera may not produce the real FPS. So I use a 240p uh, camera to record the viewport and I count the frame change in one second time using 50x slow motion video. What you see here is the Laptop Pro scanning in the cloth line mode. Each frame that you see here is produced by the camera, GPU and the CPU and it should reflect the real FPS of the 3D scanner. Okay, for the laptop, the frame changed 50 times in one second, so the software report the true FPS. So next, I'm going to do the same with Leopold Metro X, so let's start counting the frame.
so now we know why the matrix scanning speed is slower than the laptop even though it shows the higher FPS because the FPS that shows here on the user interface is the frequency of projector strobe light not the speed of the camera the speed of the camera is only 36 frames per second which is 28% slower than the Raptor and it is 36% slower than it is report on the screen okay thanks you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video